Good, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Amy Shaw with the Greater Binghamton Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to our virtual employer spotlight. And today I'm joined by Joseph Lansinger at Frito Lay, uh, located in Kirkwood, New York. Hi, Joseph. Hi, Amy. Thank you so much for having me. So, yeah, we're so excited to learn more about Frito Lay. I know you guys have some open positions that you are currently recruiting for. So you're going to kind of walk us through just a little bit about the yourself and the company and then the opportunities. And we'll throw a link in the chat, not the chat, in the comments of the Facebook Live. I got to get my terminology straight. Um, <laughs> where they can have a direct link to the Kirkwood, New York positions. Yes, we will definitely do that. Well, thank you all for joining. Of course, as Amy said, my name is Joe Lansinger. I'm with Frito Lay here at Kirkwood. And so we're just going to talk a little bit more. So, first thing is first, I am going to just talk a little bit about myself as well and talk a little bit more about our parent company, of course, Frito Lay, which is also PepsiCo. And then just talk a little bit more about our site specifically talk about our available positions and some benefits of working for us here at Frito-Lay. And then just if there are any like outstanding questions, we'll talk a little bit more about that. And at the very end, we'll talk about any, we'll provide you with some contact, contact information as well as those kinds of next steps in applying for positions as well. So again, my name is Joe Lansinger. I am a human resources intern at the Frito-Lay site in Kirkwood. And so I started with a uh, Free delay about two months ago, so I'm pretty new in my position, but I've been having a great time. Uh, I am originally from Ohio. I go to The Ohio State University, working on my master's degree in HR, and so very excited to be here. Uh, I did have to go through like an application interview process, all that kind of fun stuff, but I've been getting out in the community, been taking part in different events, like as you can see from the picture on the left, I was at the job fair at Mirabrito Stadium, as well as you can see me on the right, dressed up as Chester Cheetah, the Cheetos mascot, having a bit of a good time, helping one of my fellow interns with their project as well. So I've also connected, uh, gone to the Connect Bing event and sort of toured around the SUNY Room as well in their culinary center. So I've been out in the community, getting to know some people, connecting around, really trying to kind of make the most of my time here. I love that. Yeah, it was so much fun. <laughs> so just talking a little bit more about an overview of our parent company, PepsiCo, as well as Frito-Lay. So just about PepsiCo, of course, with uh, more than $64 billion in net revenue in 2018 and operating in more than 200 countries and territory, we are truly a global company. And so when we talk about PepsiCo, we don't just talk about Frito-Lay, we talk about PepsiCo as well as Pepsi-Cola, and they kind of have come together to uh, be one, but typically we are divided into two divisions. We have our global beverages as well as our global foods. And so just a little bit about the history. So of course, Pepsi-Cola was founded in uh, 1898 by Caleb Bradham. And then <clears throat> the first recipe for the Fritos corn chips was in 1932. And along with that was the establishment of the H.W. Lay Company. In 1961, Frito-Lay itself came about and, as a merger through the Frito Company and the H.W. Lay Company. And then in 1965, PepsiCo was founded through a merger between Pepsi-Cola and Frito-Lay coming together. So that way we can really have the kind of the market with both uh, beverages as well as snack foods as well. So kind of skipping a little bit farther down the timeline, focusing more on our food side of the business. So in 2001, we, uh, we merged with Quaker Oats, which also brought in the addition of Gatorade to the portfolio. So from the food side, so when we started working with Quaker Oats. Between 2006 and 2007, we did uh, <clears throat> acquire uh, Stacy's, so the pita chips as well with that. So we started producing those as well. And in 2008, we entered into a partnership with Strauss Group to produce and sell Sabra as well, kind of partnering with those Stacy's chips, making some delicious pita and hummus, always a good snack to have. And then looking even farther beyond this timeline goes, recently in 2020, we did acquire the Better For You brands, or BFY. And so those are, those are things like popcorners. We've also developed our off the eaten path as well. So some new things occurring as even beyond this timeline stretches. 
So just Donald Kendall, the CEO of Pepsi Cola, and Herman Lay, the CEO of Frito Lay, recognized what they called a marriage made in heaven. So a single company delivering both perfectly salty snacks served along with the best cola on earth. Basically, that led to one of our the leading food and beverage company, PepsiCo. So where we currently are today. So just kind of looking at the PepsiCo portfolio, you can see it is very well versed in both beverages and food as well. So of course we have standard Pepsi, we also have Bang, Mug Root Beer, Mountain Dew, Gatorade. From a food standpoint, we of course have our typical Lay's, but also Doritos, Cheetos, Stacy's, Quaker Oats, Popcorners, all kinds of food and beverages under one umbrella. And so just looking a little bit more specifically at the Frito-Lay brand portfolio, you can see really all of the companies that we encompass. So we have, of course, Doritos, Tocitos, Lay's, but also things like Cracker Jack and Grandma's Cookies and Stacy's and Sun Chips, all kinds of different foods that we have. So, of course, we have our $1 billion brands. Those are the really well-known ones like Lay's, Doritos, and Fritos. We also have our $250 million to $1 billion brands. Those are things like the Funyuns, the Miss Vicky's, the Smart Food. So really just diverse portfolio all the way across. So looking specifically at what the Kirkwood site produces, we really focus in a lot of those four products. We make Lay's, Doritos, Fritos, Tostitos, Ruffles, but we also make Munchos as well as Santitas as well. So we do make a few of those lesser known brands as well, but really we make a lot of those well-known brands. So just diving right in to kind of the overview of our specific Kirkwood site. And so this is kind of an overview of our Frito-Lay supply chain, what we call seed to shelf. And so that goes all the way from research and development all the way to merchandising and being in the stores. So at Kirkwood, we really focus in the manufacturing, the storage and the transportation. And so that's like making the actual chips and producing them, seasoning them, all that kind of stuff storage so working within our warehouse and then the transportation that's taking them to our distribution centers that kind of stop right before they go to the stores and go to our customers so just a little bit more specifically about the kirkwood site we opened on november 4th 1974 with about 120 employees so that was roughly 47 years ago give or take some months and then we are about 30 300 thousand square feet total with parking lot, it covers almost 20 acres. So we are the 12th largest Frito-Lays out of, uh, of Frito-Lays 48 manufacturing plants. Current employees, we have approximately 550 people. That includes our manufacturing as well as our warehouse and our traffic within all three of those sections. So we produce actually over 100 million pounds of snack foods annually. So that's about eight tons per hour or 1.8 million bags a day. So we produce a significant amount of chips every day. And our service area primarily focuses in the Atlantic and the Northeast. We're the second largest Venn supplier in the nation as well. A little bit about our culture. We are a non-union site. Uh, we are a team forward warehouse as well. And then we're also ISO and OHSAS certified. Mm -hmm. So just kind of what our site looks like, you, we have kind of an aerial view of it on the right. So we do have uh, nine different fryers that we work with. So we have one that runs for our potato chips. Those are things like Lay's and Ruffles. We also have our tortilla chips. So we have four production lines for our tortilla chips. So that's like Doritos, Tositos, and Santitas. And then for Fritos specifically, we have three different production lines. And then we have one production line for Munchos. Those are kind of a little bit more of lighter area potato chips. So they do kind of operate on their own line. Mm -hmm. We have 45 different packaging lines. So taking the actual finished chips and putting them within the bags and then from there putting them into our cases and boxes. And within our warehouse, we have 33 different dock doors that we work with, as well as three different pick belts. And so that's uh, kind of taking the the different uh, boxes and putting them in for the correct orders and loading up the trailers and everything. So we have over 200 produced line items. So that's things like Lay's, Ruffles, Baby Lay's, Fritos, Frito Twist, Frito Scoops, Doritos, all kinds of stuff that we're producing. So more about our culture at Kirkwood. So we have something that we call our Kirkwood Pride. So it is of course an acronym, so it runs so it stands for perfect, perfect product every day. 
So we really kind of take the quality of our product pretty seriously. We're constantly working to improve our product and we're constantly evaluating how it is against like our gold standard. Run right, so it's just making sure that we are kind of operating the correct way and making sure that nothing is kind of falling between the cracks or anything like that. Injury free, we are very safety conscious at our site. And in fact, uh, most Thursdays, you'll catch a lot of us wearing bright orange in honor of safety. So it's something that we like to do. Uh, deliver superior service. Of course, we do kind of operate with our customers in mind as much as we can. And everyone engaged, we have a lot of fun events and we try to make it not just about the work, but also just kind of about beyond that, trying to build a, almost a sense of community amongst everybody and make people excited to come to work as well. Mm -hmm. So talking a little bit more about our culture and some of the extraneous things. So we do operate 24 seven. So we do run on three different shifts. So our first shift is from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Our second shift is 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. And our third shift is 11 p.m. until 7 a.m. So something that we try to work with as much as we can is we try to foster a good work-life balance. And so we have certain policies in place to try to help that. So for example, with working with one of our overtime policies is that uh, you're after working 13 days straight, you are mandated to have that 14th day off. So you can't work more than 13 days in a row, even if it is voluntary, you do require that one day off. And so of course we try to have a lot of fun too. So here's some pictures along the right kind of, of our team, you know, going out and participating in the community with sports events or different events that are going on around. We also try to work with diversity, equity and inclusion as well. And so like, we have different employee resource groups that we have uh, within our organization. And we try to work with healthy living as well, just trying to foster healthy lifestyle for everybody working with us. So just talking a little bit more about the positions that we have available specifically at Kirkwood. So we have our entry level manufacturing position. And so with this position, what it is, is it is working with some of our packaging machines and really making sure that they are stocked properly with cardboard. So they are our case erector machines. So they kind of build out the boxes that shoot down before the bags get put in them. And so you'll also be working with and kind of troubleshooting some of the common errors that occur with them and making sure that, you know, they're running right, that they're running efficiently as well. And you can also, you'll also be sorting and preparing the cardboard. So part of our zero waste initiative is that we receive a good portion of our cardboard back from our like uh, route sales drivers. And so like they'll stock the shelves, pull down the boxes and bring it back to us. And so then we try to reuse that cardboard. So with sorting and preparing the cardboard, that's really going through the cardboard that's there, making sure that any of the used cardboard is still usable. And if it's not, then disposing of it properly within our site. Then, of course, changing the type of box in the machines to make sure that, you know, it's the correct box for the correct bags. Okay. Then we also have our sanitary positions. So our sanitary positions are really like our sanitation department. So they work and they sanitize our machines. Like if we have to change over from making one kind of product to another. So, for example, if we're making like barbecue lays and that line is going to start making a regular lays, then our sanitizers go in deep clean all the equipment and make sure that it is sanitized. So they'll conduct different tests to make sure that the machines are clean as well. Because of course, they're kind of like our line of defense between our cross-contamination between allergens. So they do work with various chemical cleaners. And so uh, during their work time, they do have to wear a lot of PPE as well. So then just looking at, again, we have our material handler or our warehouser positions. And so they're the ones really kind of loading our trailers with the products, stacking the boxes inside the trailers. Uh, they'll pick the boxes for the orders and kind of make sure that we have all of the correct ones. Uh, they do operate our forklifts. And so they are kind of going around our warehouse, uh, taking, you know, pallets off the shelves, getting them ready, putting them within the trailer and stacking them within the trailer by hand. And then and they also just store different product at our warehouse as well. So we might receive different shipments that we will store there, products that we don't necessarily make at Kirkwood, but that we'll kind of pull it on there, but we'll need for different orders. And then we do also have our packaging machine operators as well. So our packaging machine operators are a little bit more specialized, a little bit more technical. So they're really kind of working out on the floor, troubleshooting our packaging machines that, you know, fill the chips, uh, put the chips in the bag. And so they really make sure that our packaging machines are stocked with the proper film to make the bags. They check the quality of the bags that are being produced, make sure that the film is like sealed tightly enough that they're not gonna pop or break 
uh, as they're kind of on en route to the store. They, of course, ensure that the machines have the correct film so that the correct chips are going in the correct bags and we don't have to worry about, you know, any chips being accidentally put in the wrong bag. So it is a little bit more of a specialized position just because of the nature of the machinery that you're working with. So just talking about some of the benefits of working at Frito-Lay. And so we do have excellent benefits for our full-time positions. So for example, we do offer like health insurance, dental, vision insurance as well. Uh, so we do have really great benefits. Uh, we in general have a very friendly culture here uh, in my experience. Everybody is always willing to help me out if I go up ask them a question, you know, they, if they are not able to help me, they will likely find somebody who's able to help me or start me pointed in the right direction. Uh, and of course, an important factor within working is pay. We do pay very well. Uh, all of our full-time positions start at uh, at least $20 an hour, if not more. Uh, in fact, the majority of our positions will start uh, above $20 per hour, if not at. And of course, a benefit of working with a global company is that you can feel a sense of pride in the work that you do every day. So for example, you see Lay's everywhere, even at the grocery store, at the convenience store, the gas station around the corner, Lay's is everywhere. And you're able to see a bag, be like, you know what? That might've come through my factory, especially if you're shopping in the local area. I know that I was in New York City recently and you know, I got excited because they were selling Lay's potato chips. It's like, I work there. So it was really exciting to kind of see that. But you get to feel a deep sense of pride kind of in your work that you do every day. So, I mean, I will open up now if there are any questions that anybody has or if Amy has any questions she would like to ask, then I would be more than happy to answer them. Yeah, so um, I'm going to, let's stop your screen share maybe okay. here. Um, so how, I mean, how, I know you talked about some of the benefits, but you know, how has your experience been specifically? And I, you know, I don't know, just like, you know, what, what do you love about that? What others might like about working at Frito-Lay and Kirkwood? Yeah, my experience has been amazing so far. I mean, like I said, I'm not originally from the area, but I mean, one of my favorite things is for real that people have really been willing to help me. Like they've given me all the tools that have been needed for me to succeed. Like I ask them a question, again, they, if they don't know the answer, they'll point me in the right direction. Um, everybody there has been extremely friendly and extremely willing to help me succeed. That's something that, you know, sometimes you don't get if you're working somewhere. I've heard some, some stories from some of my other colleagues who are working for different companies, not quite having the same experience that I am. Yeah, and um, there's definitely upward mobility at the organization. Yes, definitely there is. There's lots of room for upward mobility. So uh, with our different positions, I mean, you may come in as like an entry-level manufacturing, but then if you just continue to work with us, uh, you may be able to transition into things like a packaging machine operator, or even into like a team supervisor role as well. So there's room for mobility with that. And an amazing thing is that we have seen like a long tenure with our employees as well. It's a place that people want to stick around. We've had people that have been working with our plant specifically longer than I have been alive. Quite frankly, it's astounding. Yeah. So, and I think that says a lot about a business and an organization. When you have long tenured employees, right? They, the, the company must be doing something right to, you know, for people to want to stay for so long. Yeah, absolutely. It's astounding to me. I think something that's worked really well too is a lot of our managers, like especially I know within HR, we have like a very open door policy where people are able to kind of come talk with any of us if they need it. If they have any concerns or anything, we're always more than happy to help. In fact, it's what we like doing. That's why we're there. So I think that's something that works really well for Frito Lay also in maintain in maintaining those employees. Yeah, I, that accessibility of staff and management um, is so important. You know, I think it um, kind of connects all the different levels of employees together when you have that accessibility. Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely an important thing too to feel connected amongst between like the staff and management. It's something that's crucial, I think, to run an effective organization. Yeah, me too. 
Well, any closing remarks? We are going to put a direct link in the comments of the Facebook Live um, so people can be directed to the actual listings, job listings for the Kirkwood site for Frito Lay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen again just because I have one okay. final slide. And so just Lynn looking over uh, for any like additional questions or concerns, you can reach out to either myself or Michael Clare as well. He is our performance manager. We both kind of work together on staffing. So here are both of our email addresses. It's just our first dot last name at pepsico.com. And just moving forward, our uh, employment website is freetolayemployment.com. If you just uh, click a search right on that front page, the zip code 13904, it'll pop right up with all our positions. And then, like Amy said, we can go ahead and post a direct link in the Facebook Live as well. That way, everybody's able to not have to search, but able to just click yeah. directly on it and get right over there. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It was a pleasure learning more about the Kirkwood site, about you, about the the culture and the positions available right now. Um, so it was good to connect. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome connecting with you too, Amy. Definitely always a pleasure talking with you. Always love connecting with people and talking more about Frito Lay. Yeah. So thank you so much for tuning in or, or watching the replay of this. Um, go check out uh, positions available either for yourself or someone you may know in the community. And I hope you have a great day, everyone.